Hey guys, okay, so today I am so excited. I'm doing a fall into winter cozy clothing lookbook. I have so many looks, I think like over 10. Putting together a ton of outfits that I think will inspire you to dress easier. And I don't wanna say like better, but I feel like the outfits are really good. I feel like they're cute. It's not just totally basic, but they're so easy and simple to put together. So I've got a ton of new pieces, okay? Some trends that are still classic. I think I'm gonna give you guys a ton of ideas. And if you've watched any of my recent clothing videos, like super recent ones, like I've worked in a few of those pieces too. It's raining so hard outside. That's why it's a little like dark in here today. I had such a hard time trying to find a good spot to film, but I think we're just going to go for it. I think it's going to work out. Um, but I always say this when I do lookbooks, these are so important because, and, and they're good for me too, other than just like putting out a video and saying, hey, put these things together, it makes me dress better for the season. These outfits that I'm showing you in this lookbook are truly the things that I pick for going forward into the season because I've already tried them on. I already have seen them on myself. I know that they look good. And sometimes I think that's why we fall into the trap of, you know, we just wear one or two outfits over and over and over because we've worn them once, we put them together. You know, we, we know that we felt good that day when we wore it, so we just keep grabbing for it because we know it works. Well, if you do this yourself, you don't have to film it, you don't have to have a YouTube channel, you don't have to do anything. I'm just saying get in your closet, get some of your things out, new, old, and just like, kind of put them together, right? Spend no more than like 10 or 15 minutes just grabbing for things that speak to you. Don't overthink it, right? I think we get in that mode of like waking up in the morning and we're like, I'm gonna wear this, well, what goes with that? And you're just like sitting there and you're like, it's never gonna come to you and then you just grab the same old outfit that you wear all the time. So get in there for like 10, 15 minutes, pick some things out, try them on, look at them on yourself and I guarantee you'll wear more stuff in your closet. You'll say, oh, I put that outfit together, I know it works. So that's why I think these are helpful. I hope that I kind of inspire you to bust out some of your favorite things and maybe to grab a few new things. Just listen, I got, I got so many new things, okay? So um, let's get into it. I will link to everything that I'm wearing and um, hopefully Hopefully this just inspires you to have some fun dressing this season. So let's go. All right, you guys, so the first outfit. This top is such a must have for fall. For any time really, just the greatest leopard crew neck. This print is so modern. It's different than any other like leopard print I've seen. It's just so perfect. And I paired it with the most perfect pair of black denim. It's got the button fly. Um, I've got the greatest earrings, these little teardrop earrings I'm wearing with most of the looks in this video. And um, I did link to a similar pair of combat boots as well if you didn't want to go so spendy, but I, I love that one so much. Next, you guys, for fall, layering is key, and you've got to get a really, really great jacket. And you always see, like, you know, the, the basic moto jacket. And this one is so great because it's a little different. It's so comfortable and stretchy. And the, these snake boots are such a must-have. They're only $19, but I will link to some similar ones in case if they're out of stock. Next, you guys. Okay, I, I finally bit the bullet and bought a dang Gucci belt. It took me so long to find one that I loved. This one is so great. It's perfect because it's stretchy. I'm like a size 4, 27, a small on tops, and I'm wearing an 80 in this belt, just for reference. Just the most basic outfit, black sweater, but change it up with some faux leather leggings and the snake boots again, so I really love that. All right, y'all, this is probably my favorite look of the entire video. This shirt is such a must-have. This beautiful toile print, flare denim is gonna be so big. I feel like it goes in and out, but if you do it right, I think you can never go wrong. Just really sleek hair, a classic bag. This top is a must have, so definitely grab it up. You can wear any shoes you want with these. It's so great. Next, you guys, a really great basic ivory sweater that has a little bit of something different about it, right? These sleeves are so great. I'm wearing it with the best pair of denim that are so affordable. You can see how cute the sleeves are. They have like little pom-poms on them or not, I don't know what it would be called, like little, little like nubs. I don't know what it is, but they're so cute. And then you guys, I did get some new glasses. These are by Gucci. They're flat top, they're oversized, and they're not so flashy. So love that. Next, this sweater. So I'm basically wearing the same outfit with some different little pink loafers. I love those. But this sweater is so classic. It's ruffly. You may have seen this 
in a recent um, clothing haul video that I did, but in black. So I really loved it so much that I had to go back for the nude. And it's just such an easy look, right? I'm wearing it with these jeans that are like, I believe they're like under $30. It's literally, these are my favorite pair of denim right now. I, I just love them so much. The sweater detailing continues to the back, which I really love. Such a classic, easy look. So sweaters are such a must-have. That one was a little different, but this one is very basic, but the fit is perfection. This is one of those that I am gonna go back for in every color. So basically, same outfit, I just changed the top. The sweater has a little bit of like a ruffly detail or like a little bell detail at the sleeve, but nothing too oversized. It is so classic, fits like a glove. I'll put all the sizes that I'm wearing below, just for reference. And I, it just could not be easier. It's such an easy look for fall, so comfortable. Love this look so much. Next, you guys, this look is so much fun for me because it's it's just an example of how you can take the most like giant potato sack sweater and make it interesting. I got it in a fun color. I didn't want to just get like a plain black or beige, which that would be great too, but I love this red so much. Really extremely over like distressed jeans. Um, and the snake print boots, which go really well. A really classic bag. And this neckline of this is so cool because you can fold it, you can kind of like leave it up a little. It's just a really great versatile sweater. So comfortable and I love it so much. So we've gone over so many looks, you guys. I just want to show a few sweaters and how easy it is. That's what I want all these outfits to be, right? Just the easiest leopard sweater, moto faux leather leggings, some loafers. Just could not be easier, right? Same outfit, but with some trendy, you know, kind of like designery logo sneakers. A really like kind of distressed turtleneck top. It just couldn't be easier. And I hope you guys see that with all of these. I told y'all I had a ton of looks. I hope that I gave you guys some, some good tips. Maybe if you've got some items similar to this, you can, you know, get a little inspired to bust them out in different ways. Um, or to pull them back out again. Or if you like me and you like to just say, okay, this person wore, like, I know that looks good. This, you know, like a lot of times I'll just like buy something that goes together. I'll buy something that I've seen like exactly together. So I think this is really helpful. I hope it's really helpful at least. And um, I'll link to everything. Like I said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and I love y'all so much. I've got so many fun things coming up. Uh, this next video is going to be one all about the Sephora event. So do not miss that. That will be up on Thursday the 7th. So look out for that. Um, cause I know I always post on Friday, but that one is going to go up on Thursday. So love you guys. I will see you then. Bye y'all.